everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making spaghetti from an Instant Pot. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. We're going to do this just like you would in a one pot spaghetti type of meal, but in an Instant Pot. So let's grab our ingredients and get this started. I'm going to start with the saute button and I'm going to cook the ground beef right inside my pan. I did go ahead and chop up some onions because that is something I would add in my spaghetti sauce anyways. If you're going to use uh, something more lean like ground turkey, make sure you add like a tablespoon or two of olive oil inside your pot so that it doesn't burn on the bottom because it doesn't have enough fat in it to cook it through the pot without scorching the bottom. I also added my garlic. This is about three to four minced garlics worth. It's just pureed garlic that I already had on hand. And I'm going to go ahead and stir it up and cook it in the pot just like I would in a separate pan before I would have done anything else before. So continue cooking your ground beef until uh, you crumble it up as much as you want. If you like the thicker chunks, you can do that as well. I like the combination of both, but I'm just gonna cook it until it browns up pretty, uh, about halfway through, and then I'm gonna start adding my seasoning in. This is just Italian seasoning. I'm trying to keep this very simple to make this as easy as possible. You can add whatever other ingredients it is that you like or whatever your favorites are, because I mean, it's spaghetti sauce. You can go crazy with this and get creative. But like I said, I am just trying to keep this as easy and as simple as possible. And basically I'm making a bunch of these foods in Instant Pots just to see how I like the Instant Pot, how I truly feel about this Instant Pot. Because I mean, I've heard so many different things about this and I was very skeptical because I didn't know if I wanted to relearn how to cook. And it turns out it's not really necessarily relearning. Okay, sorry, moving on. I am using a 12 ounce gluten-free uh, box of spaghetti noodles. I grabbed half of the package first and I broke it up in half obviously you just saw that and the way that I am placing the noodles inside the pot is just by twisting and turning and moving it around because you know when you cook regular noodles and if you have them side by side they will stick together so I'm trying to prevent something like that from happening because I already know that'll happen in just like straight boiling water so grab your noodles break them up and then just separate them the best that you can and if you see some that are stuck together pick it up and just move it around and that's all you have to do for the noodles use whatever method that works best for you I'm just doing it this way because I feel like this is probably better for the noodles all right so because again you need liquids inside of your instant pot I'm just gonna go ahead and add three cups of chicken broth. I know I said four in the ingredients because we're gonna save that one cup for later. But we're using three cups right inside of our Instant Pot and I'm gonna put it on top and all around the sides of the pot itself. Then grab yourself a can of petite diced tomatoes because you need all the juices that you can get, right? So I am adding a whole entire can, juices and all, with your favorite jar of spaghetti sauce. This is where that extra cup of chicken broth is gonna come in handy. Just throw it inside of your jar of spaghetti sauce so you can just get the rest of the flavor of the marinara all inside of there and just pour it all the way around. Now I'm just gonna kinda spread out my sauce and my juices and whatever else and just kinda press it down just to make sure I've got it all in there and then I'm just gonna close it up with my lid and get ready to cook. Make sure you just scooch it over to your sealed side so that it'll cook properly. And then press the cancel button from our saute button. And then I'm just gonna pressure cook it. My box actually says 10 to 11 minutes for al dente. So I went ahead and did 10 minutes. Watch this, 10 minutes, see? <laughs> all right, 10 minutes later, go ahead and push it over to your venting side so you can get all of that out. So, um, this actually took the longest amount of time that I actually thought it would. It took eight minutes until all of that steam came out of my pressure cooker. So give yourself some time for this. Look at that, eight minutes before I could finally get it to release and open up. But was it worth it? Let's take a look. Yes, totally worth it because guess what? The outcome of this was amazing. The noodles, the texture, everything turned out perfectly. I don't know how well it's gonna do with the uh, regular spaghetti noodles. I use a gluten-free kinds and that's why I cooked it for that long because I know the gluten-free noodles cook a little bit differently, but I like it. I like the texture of it. I like the flavor of it. That's just my personal preference. So I went ahead and gave everything a good stir because I wanted to make sure the sauce was all inside of there and it just turned out great, I think personally, but uh, 
I just plated mine with some side salad and some garlic bread. Well, it's actually just French bread. And this was amazing. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.